Welcome to the College Investor Audio Show, where we talk about the biggest issues impacting millennial money, from student loan debt to side hustles to building wealth. We will show you how to get out of debt so that you can build real wealth for the future. If you've been kind of putting it off, today we'll discuss how to shop and how to find a better deal on your mortgage. Mortgage refinancing in 2021. You know, as a homeowner with an outstanding mortgage balance, you might stand to gain quite a bit from refinancing. Still, relatively low rates and uncertain times, finding a way to lower that monthly payment might be a great idea for you and your family. Today, we partner with our good friends at Credit Karma Home, and if you're looking for a quick and easy way to shop for rates, see if you can save on your mortgage, just check out Credit Karma Home. We have a link at thecollegeinvestor.com. Now, let's take a look at the, the big question. Are mortgage rates still even attractive? Although they have risen in 21, of course, that doesn't mean that they aren't still attractive. Just last year, mortgage rates seemed to be hitting record lows every month, as those who refinanced at that point likely gained the most. However, mortgage rates are still very low and you can still gain. You can decide for yourself if mortgage rates are still attractive to your situation very easily. Take a look at the mortgage rate attached to your current mortgage. If the market rates are lower, Refinancing your mortgage still presents an excellent opportunity, although, unfortunately, the low rates might not stick around for long, so you kind of have to decide. <laughs> As according to Freddie Mac, the accelerating consumer inflation might lead to higher mortgage rates in the coming months. With that said, now we ask the question, how does mortgage refinancing work exactly? Essentially, a mortgage refinance replaces your existing mortgage with an entirely new one, when you take out the refinanced mortgage, the funds will be used to pay off the outstanding balance on your current mortgage. There are different types of mortgage refinancing too. When you're looking to refinance, several different loan products to choose from. And here are some of the most common ones. Rate and term refinance. The rate and term refinance option is likely what comes to mind when you think of refinancing. In this case, and in a lot of cases, you would borrow the balance of your outstanding mortgage, but the new lender will offer you different rates and terms. With this option, you'll look for a lower interest rate, which so happens to reduce your monthly payment quite a bit and at times, depending on the interest rate. You can also look for a shorter term, like you might switch from a 30 to a 15 year mortgage, which is a great idea because through the rate and term refinance, you stand to save money on interest payments over the lifetime of your loan and pay off your house quicker. Imagine not having a mortgage. When shopping for a mortgage refinance, there are sites like Credit Karma Home really make it easy to see different mortgage types and rates. Just on one page, you can quickly see a 30-year fixed or a 15-year fixed, and even a 5 to 1 ARM, which is an adjustable rate mortgage. You can see a link again at thecollegeinvestor.com. A cash out refinance, we see these quite a bit, and it's exactly what it sounds like. You can pull cash out of the equity you've built in your home. With that, you can use the funds you pull out to cover an expense. It could be a big home improvement project, which can build equity at the same time that you're taking equity out. Another big reason people do this is for debt consolidation to pay off all that high interest debt you might have. If you're considering a cash out refinance, you should compare this loan to a home equity loan. In either case, you'll add to the balance of your current mortgage, but depending on your situation, you may save a little more money over the course of the loan with one. Here's how to shop around to find the best rates for mortgage refinancing in 21. Now, that we have some steps you should take to find the right mortgage refinancing opportunity for your specific situation. Consider your goals. Refinancing your mortgage can lead to a suite of opportunities. The main reason you choose to refinance will depend on, of course, your unique situation. If you want to streamline your finances by saving money on interest, then a classic refinance is the answer you're looking for. If you need money to cover an expense, home improvement loan, for, for example, then a cash-out refinance could provide the funds you need. Either way, take some time to consider why you want to refinance before shopping around. With a clear vision of what you want to achieve with your refinance, you'll be able to narrow down your options a little more quickly. You can compare lenders. Not all mortgage lenders are created equal, of course. Although a mortgage may seem like a pretty standard product with the same offerings available at every lender, that's just not the case. With that, 
It is important to shop around. And by the way, I know what you're thinking, but if I shop around, then they'll just keep hitting my credit. It'll hurt my credit score. Not so fast. Shopping around for rates on Credit Karma Home and submitting your info through them doesn't actually hurt your credit score. And get this, even if you have already started shopping and you already had a hard inquiry from a mortgage application, you got 14 days to shop around with other lenders without having a second inquiry on your credit report. That is pretty amazing. If you haven't started yet and you're not sure where to start, again, we've partnered with our very good friends at Credit Karma Home to make this process a little easier. They have this comparison shopping tool that allows you to explore the offers of dozens of lenders in just one quick process. And one of the great features is that you can quickly see your rate, monthly payment, and any fees involved in refinancing, which can be pretty big. You can examine customer service ratings too. A mortgage is a long-term financial product. 15 to 30 years? <laughs> that kicks off with weeks of paperwork. Whether you're purchasing your home for the first time or refinancing like we've been talking about today, there's a lot of paperwork involved. Unfortunately, a lender with a bad track record of taking care of its customers can lead to a string of headaches for you. Take a minute to check out customer service ratings of a potential lender before signing on the dotted line. Credit Karma makes it easy to see this. They show lender reviews on the rate comparison page. You can check that out too. Close and enjoy your refinance terms. That is our last step. Although the process of obtaining a refinance can take some time and energy, the end results can be worth the effort. If you took the time to shop around carefully, then you'll be able to bask in the glow of thousands saved in interest payments or the cash on hand to tackle a big expense. Here are some final thoughts. So mortgage refinancing in 2021, even though the rates are going up, can still be a good idea if you find the interest rates and terms that beat your current mortgage rates and terms. Take some time to consider how your financial picture could change for the better if you pursue a refinance. If you're not sure what to do, where to start, hop on over, as we mentioned, to Credit Karma Home and see what rates are in your area. You might be surprised how much you can save and get a free quote too. Go to thecollegeinvestor.com, type in how to shop for mortgage refinancing, and you'll see this article plus links to all of the cool resources we have. Again, it's thecollegeinvestor.com. Thanks for stopping by today. We'll talk to you again real soon.